<laughs> what the fuck is up, everybody? Mm, mm, mm. I got the 80s playlist playing in the background. I'm feeling very futuristic. Was it in the 80s? I don't know what the fuck the 80s was. I wasn't born in the 80s. But the vibes, well, the vibes are good vibes. What's up, everybody? The future is created right now. You see that? The minute I said right now, we're in the fucking future. Whoa, we're in the future again. In the future again, in the future again. Look, it's in the shit you're doing right now that the future, the future carries for you. You see, we can't see present time and we can't see what the future is. In our mind, we can. We can imagine what it could be like if, I don't know, whatever you want to imagine. We got some warrior monks walking into the fucking building. The ladies, grab your G-strings. It's gonna be a hot night. We got Latin flavor. Oh no, ladies are in. All right, now. Oh fuck. Nah, dude, it's celebrities night tonight. Come on in. Players, ladies, kings and queens. Welcome to the motherfucking table. All right, fuck it. <clears throat> man, I was just thinking. Yo, what's up, man? I want you to take a look at this shit because we don't pay enough attention. We get lost in the shuffle of life. There's just so much shit going on externally, internally, and you, you don't realize that you're stuck in some thoughts. You're stuck in some ideas. Ah, it's like you can't get out of it no matter where you go. And we always seek some, some sanctuary. We seek some escape. Let me lower this music down. It's just too fucking loud. It's just interrupting. Alexa, shut the fuck up. No, I'm just kidding. Lower the volume. This is for me and Alexa just don't get along. All right, she shut up. Cool, it worked. <laughs> but look, think about this. How absurd is it that we literally try and escape our life? We have this internal, internal problem, right? Maybe life is just too much, you know? And life is not easy. I don't know who the fuck says life is easy, but life is not easy. Why? Because we're always dealing with some shit internally. It doesn't matter that, let's say for example, let's say for example, well, if you had a lot of money, you wouldn't have that problem. Motherfucker, what if I was being chokehold with a knife to my neck? Would I want a million dollars in that moment? What, what, would, what good would a million dollars do to me? What good would having a loving relationship do for me if I was with the fucking knife to my neck? Now, that's an extreme case. But in this moment, everything is contextual. Everything is within context. Yeah, do we need a lot of money to live a good life? Sure, yeah, make a lot of fucking money. Make a lot of motherfucking money doing some shit that inspires you. Doing something that pushes life forward. That if you got paid $1 for making someone's life better, then round of a motherfucking applause, whether that was selling some fucking candy, selling a house, selling personal services, having a conversation and someone said, wow, dude, thank you for your fucking time because that shit was worthy. Why? Because you saved my fucking life. That right there is a good exchange for monetary exchange, right? And that's just an exchange of services and meats. You know, back in the time, I don't know, I wasn't alive back in time, but I can think in my mind that when societies were in little huts, right? Just as every movie has told us. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie Apocalypto, but I imagine we lived in little huts, or at least my fucking people, all right? Back in time in the Aztec culture, the Tolteca culture, right? We lived in little fucking huts, right? And then there... People didn't have monetary money to exchange. We didn't have this fucking paper that runs society and people fucking slave themselves. People fucking work nine to fives. People uh, start businesses. People prostitute themselves. People do all kinds of shit for this little fucking money. This, this invisible paper. <laughs> it's fucking paper. People kill for this shit. Like what? We got to look how absurd this is. Okay. But back in times, they didn't have this. What did, they, what did they do have? Whatever resources kept them alive, whatever survival. Maybe one of the neighbors was a locksmith. Ping, ping. 
He's dedicated his whole life to being a fucking locksmith or, or whatever these guys are. Uh, I don't know. They make iron and shit, right? They make the weapons. Back in time, you needed fucking weapons, right? It's not like I'm in my room right now and I have to think about a fucking tiger hunting my village. I got to be ready with a spear. Now, there are weapons here. I got knives. I love knives. Oh, I, f I love knives. Got some dope things here. However, I don't have to be so fully aware of this. My subconscious might be, and I am. Point is, is that back in time, people bartered with services. People bartered with, hey, my neighbor over there has hay. Let's go exchange some carrots today, right? Because we go, because we have our own garden. People bartered and exchanged with whatever means they produced. So look at your life. What are you producing? What are you generating in your life so that you can exchange with the world? You see, when you become a generator, a generator of energy, a generator of good feelings, a generator of money, a generator of all the shit you want, you start to generate, you start to receive it. And in exchange, you exchange with the world. So how are you exchanging with life? Now, right now in present time is where you create. Right now, I'm speaking to the world, right? Because I don't know who watches. It's all my people for sure, right? But at the end of the day, I don't know where my words go. Someone right now may hear my message in Pakistan and he's like, fuck, I need to apply this shit, right? Or someone's right now, I don't know, has a million dollars driving his Ferrari, right? Because they both watch my shit. So... In whatever extreme of life you're at, right now is who we, where you create who you're going to be for tomorrow. You see, we get lost. We get lost in our evolution. We get lost in our process of life. We forget that n there's no finite state. Like people think that success is just one fucking success bubble. You once you reach success, you're successful for life. There's no problems. No, that's a lie. That's a fucking lie. It's not a, a fucking, you know, like you just hit this level and you're done. You're done with the game of life. No, it's a constant evolution. Shit changes, man. Circumstances in your life will require you to level up in everything. You get in a new relationship, you got to level up. You start to make more money, you got to level up. Why? Because your old habits, they're not going to serve you anymore. You're not in that level anymore. And shit changes. You're either getting better with it or you're getting worse. Now, in present time is where you create the habits that will grow. Habits are like little seeds that you plant in yourself. Let's say you're like, man, I want to get more physically ripped. I want, I want to be more disciplined. My aim is to be more disciplined in my physical feeling, my physical body, and how I look and appear in the world and how I feel. That's a habit that you start to work on every fucking day. Habits are little seeds that once you start to water and grow every day by the constant exchange of your energy with that activity, you'll start to see the growth of your fruits. You start to bear the fruit of your labor. But see, whether you're aware of it or not is irrelevant because you're always growing habits. You see those negative vices that you have? We all have, I have, you have. The shit that we're constantly outworking the shit we're trying to outgrow those bullshit problems those bullshit insecurities i have them you have them why because i've seen everybody out there have them <laughs> nobody's perfect nobody's reached and ascended to some level of perfection where they're just immune to every imperfection of life bullshit bullshit so decide today what kind of habits do you want to water and seed and grow within yourself who do you want to be? That's the bottom line question you must ask. Who do you want to be in life? What's the perfect version of you? What does perfection look within you? Well, Fernando, perfection doesn't... Shut the fuck up. That's not the point. What would the perfect father be if you were him? How would he carry himself around his kids, around his partner, around his tribes, how would the man of the tribe carry himself? Now, if you're a woman, how would the perfect woman carry herself? What would be your values? With some shit you won't compromise no matter what. Not for money, not for attention, not for nothing. 
those personal values that you carry within yourself because it's in there it's in there where the true wealth is where the true values are fuck your money people make money in dirty ways fuck that i will never cross my integrity i'll never cross my values why because that's an honest and noble person is one to say hey no matter what enticements there are in the world i won't compromise my inner values why because that's some shit that i live with and i die with and that's the shit i won't ever compromise no matter what no fucking dollar exchange what are you a prostitute do you just sell yourself for money if you're not then don't never compromise your values if you're a man you should be working every fucking day why because what the fuck is a retirement keep working man I don't see anything in the jungle that just says, well, at the age of the lion, at the age of eight years old, retired from hunting and retired from living. No, man, the thing that keeps our spirit alive is the continuous, the continuous pursuit of growth, of pushing beyond the boundaries of our life, beyond, beyond the boundaries of our comfort. Why? Because it's in the comfort that makes us feel like shit. I stopped wanting to live that life. I stopped trying to be so comfortable. Why? Look at my fucking life. I show it every day. What the fuck? I communicate to the world every day. Is it comfortable to jump on here? Fuck yeah, it is. Now it is. Before it wasn't. But that's, that's where the evolution of time and progress and energy happens. The shit you don't want to do today is the shit you do just because you said, fuck that, I'm tired of that other motherfucker running my life. I run this shit now. What do I want? Who do I need to be to get there? And what do I need to fucking do right here, right now, so that I can create that reference each and every moment, so that I can grow my courage, so I bow down to no obstacle. I bow down to no motherfucking obstacle. Fuck that shit. You rise on your shit. You rise to the occasion. When people think about you, they're like, damn, that's that motherfucker that never bowed down to his word. Why? Because everybody bows down to their word. Fuck that, I won't. I don't want what they want. I want what I want inside. What I have inside. Why? Because that's what makes me feel good. I'm here to feel good. Are you here to feel good and live a happy life? I'm sure you are. Because I know I am. I'm not here to take away from your shine. I'm here to shine my light. And you shine your light. Why? Because seeing you shine your light inspires the fuck out of me. I want to be inspired by the people around me. That if I go on social media, I want to be inspired by what I see, by my friends succeeding. And whatever they do, look, there's lions, there's wolves, there's eagles, there's sharks, there's every fucking predator, and there's also the prey. Now, I'm not here jumping in the bounds of my predator friends. And yes, I'm around very, very high level people. But see, the lion hunts where the lion hunts. The eagle flies where the eagle flies. The eagle doesn't try and hunt where the shark hunts. The shark doesn't hunt where the eagle hunts. Why? Because that's out of their element. Stay in your element. Stay in your lane. You're trying to compete with people. You're trying to compete with others who are not, who are not even in the same game. You're jumping from game to game. Stay in your game. And I'm the motherfucker that said, hey, fuck all your games. I'm going to play my game. Why? Because this is my motherfucking life. I got one of these. I got one of these. Why am I living for other people when I can be living for my damn self and creating a world that I've gone through the trials and tribulations where people would come to the elder, what, for the, mo the most experience? I want to be the one with the most experience, not because of my age, but because of my willingness to go out to the world. Look that shit in the eyes and not be afraid of no fucking obstacle. Fuck that. Why? Because any obstacle in your way, on your path, is just too fucking small. It's just too small. We make them so big in our minds. We start to think the obstacles and the problems in our life are too big, too ginormous. And we lose sight of the vision of what we want to create. Well, right now you create that shit. Right the fuck now. So ask yourself, who do you want to be? All right, that's it for this one. Let's fucking go.